Travis Maximus here this time with a quick review of the Ideal Stripmaster Mill Spec Edition. And uh, I did do a video, and many people are aware of the Ideal Stripmasters. These are the were the most popular type of automatic wire strippers. Uh, and the best, about the best place you can find a similar style is indeed Harbor Freight for these Doyles. Um, they're a knockoff, but they're not bad, and they have the exact same mechanism. Now, of course... Many times when you're talking about mil military specification items, it's just a form of quality control and, you know, precision and manufacturing. It's just, you know, things are really ensured that uh, they are exactly as they are advertised. In this case, you actually have a set of custom dies. And the reason I bring this up and even in making the videos, people, you know, our standard retail price for a pair of genuine American-made strip masters around $50. Just to get these mil spec ones, and they do indeed have this special. If we can get the darn light to there, we go. And do to have a mil spec 16878. These things are 200 bucks. Uh, <laughs> and these are indeed the uh, 45174. So these will do from 26 gauge through 16 gauge. Um, they also indeed have a different cap, just besides different dies, they actually have a different casting than standard strip masters. Uh, and just for anybody's note, these are some blue points and they are indeed the same thing as a strip master. Anyway, they do have a different casting and then they have these flat jaws, which are really wide, which are supposed to be a little bit less damaging to the insulation than these slightly narrower corrugated jaws. Once again, the big difference, though, is in the dies. These are counterboard dies that uh, ensure exact centering of the wire. And I'm kind of jumping around here. That's why I have a bunch of wire shippers. I even have Ideal uh, has made these for a long time. I believe these were the first style of reasonably working automatic wire strippers. This was before. These are Ideals, but before they were called strip masters. In my uh, experience, the GC uh, SpeedX Trigomatics are actually the best ones. And I believe the Stripmaster style actually came out to get around GC's patent on this. And they had better salespeople, so that's why these Stripmasters are really so common, where in reality the GC ones are actually quite a bit better. They're lighter weight, more compact, etc. Just a really elegant design. All these strippers are, as opposed to maybe a really nice set of hand strippers like these, these work really well. Um, Especially if you cut the insulation, then go to the next size and pull it off. But they still aren't as guaranteed as the strip masters. Now, the one issue with the strip master, for instance, is that when you're stripping wire here, what do we got here? What is it? This looks like a 18 gauge wire. Is there is two issues? One is sometimes you can smash the wire if you don't get it perfectly centered, which can nick the insulation. And then obviously in high precision or military applications, also true for medical and scientific. Uh, that can be a real issue. The second issue is because it's just a sharp blades and there's nothing really forcing the wire to be centered besides uh, just the blades clamping down on through the insulation. And if it's offset to one side, as soon as it hits the conductor, it kind of pushes it the other side of the wire down. And generally speaking, these things work uh, excellent and basically don't cut any strands, even though they technically touch the wire a little bit. Now, to give you a quick zoom in, since these jaws are just obvious, these are just like the same type of jaws that are in these, just in an, you know, an automatic system here. The difference in the jaws in these, and I need to really zoom in here quite a bit. I think we can just see here. Actually, let me get some more magnification. Quite a bit more. There we go. Whoa. I love the way the camera does that. You can see what's going on here is there's a counter bore, and that's actually on both sides of the jaws. They actually have a tracing number, so if you order 100 of these and say they're nicking the insulate or they're nicking the wires or aren't quite cutting the insulation well enough, uh, they can actually trace. Uh, so it's high ISO, it's part of the expense. But you can see there's also a counter bore on the back side. So on the inside of these jaws, you can see that they've ground little half moon cutters. And so the big deal about these is, of course, that when you put them in, actually, is this an 18? Yeah, that's an 18 gauge. Wow, I was really out of focus there. Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, when you put them in and then you start to clamp down, 
it in, uses those counterbores again it's a wider surface against the insulation to really force that conductor to be absolutely in the middle of the pair dies before you actually uh, strip that way when you do strip the wire you end up getting uh, better results let's do that one more time because 18 gauge is a little bit small this should have gone into the 16 gauge die but it did point out that that's just exactly how these are sized so you get it and boom it really really ensures that there's just basically very little chance of those dies actually nicking uh, the edge of the insulation and so these are also rated for all sorts of um, different types of wire insulation such as Teflon fiberglass and part of the deal with this military specification I should talk about is it's really uh, deals with heavy-duty wire that can have uh, insulation rated at 200 degrees Celsius so that's like 350 degree wire insulation there's very uh, wide variety of grades you actually can specify the number of strands you can specify whether you want it plain copper tin coated silver coated wire um, there's insulations that are thousand volt rated that's part of what this type the type double E on there is just letting you know that it is compatible with high voltage insulated wires the other thing is these type of strippers when you're working with super fine wire I don't know if that's 26 gauge it's probably 24 gauge is that they work really well with the super fine wire so sometimes a little better than these uh, this style just because uh, when it's really thin wire it doesn't really want to fit particularly because the smallest die is 20 gauge on this but when you get to the super small wire with the super hair thin uh, strands that's where you can run into a little bit more of an issue especially if the wire has a little bit of a kink or something in it when you're stripping it and so that's just really the the deal with these uh, particular mill spec wire strippers is just that they have these special dies that are uh, really designed to be you know extra careful and have extra accuracy when they're stripping the insulation to really in essentially ensure that you're not nicking the wire so they just have those counter bores which is grab each side of the wire as the jaws clamp down rather than just relying on the sharp jaws themselves so anyway that was kind of a, a rambling type of review of these uh, mill spec strip masters but I thought I'd uh, bring these to people's attention on you know what's a even you know this is the same old strip master but what's a you know a mill spec or a really high grade set of uh, hand wire strippers and that's exactly what uh, what we have here the difference is, is just a different shape of dies which is uh, better for stripping wire more accurate and uh, less potential for any type of damage and a heavy-duty quality control and tracing process so they can figure out whether is this somebody who wasn't measuring it or maybe uh, during manufacturing the grinding wheel I was grinding these was worn out and somebody hadn't replaced that so they can go to an old log and say oh we didn't replace the grinding wheel we'll have to talk to that worker that's kind of the whole deal with uh, things that are either ISO 9000 9001 9002 mill spec is that the the fact that you have traceability and you can determine the history of something if it's not working as advertised and be able to identify exactly what happened there you know where in the manufacturing process plus there's some extra enhancements you know they use a high grade bolt for the center pin instead of just a Phillips head screw they also have the provision so you can have uh, an extra stop in there and they even have a plastic wire stop that attaches to these screws but anyway those are the uh, mill spec wire strippers these things are you know still sold uh, they're all you know all over online and if anybody's ever looked up you know the ideal strip masters they probably run into what makes these you know so expensive and uh, yeah just a mill spec just a, a difference in dyes which isn't a big deal and then a uh, whole traceability process which is labor intensive and that's where they're charging the money for anyway I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.